hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here on my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button i actually wanted to do this video a little different because it's a pretty sensitive topic to me as i am half black half puerto rican and there's a lot going on in our world that i definitely want to address in this video it's been long overdue but trust and believe i have not been silent on my social media so if you don't follow me on instagram make sure you do it's at the bottom of the screen This video is going to be a little different so if you need a step-by-step -step tutorial i'm actually going to be linking the original um, video that i actually did with the table arch in my previous videos on my channel my youtube channel is growing immensely every single day and i feel like this is my duty to speak on what's going on in the world and this may be a sensitive topic for some but i know this conversation needs to be had regardless of how anybody feels in this video, I actually chose Pan-African Colors, which was derived from Ethiopia's flag. And it is black, red, and green. Red actually represents the noble blood that unites all people of African ancestry. The color black represents the people of the country and the continent. And green represents the rich land of Africa. There are actually 54 countries that make up Africa, according to the United Nations. So they have different flags, but to represent Africa as a continent, I chose these colors because of what's going on in our world today. In the United States, we have an organized movement called Black Lives Matter or BM BLM, and it advocates for nonviolent civil disobedience in protesting against incidents of police brutality against african-american people this particular movement was actually in response to trayvon martin's murder george zimmerman and actually this happened in florida so this really does hit home in the sense of where i live it was actually in sanford florida which is about 20 minutes from downtown orlando and he was acquitted of the murder charge for Trayvon Martin, who was a very young kid who was walking through a nice neighborhood and was suffocated and killed while being unarmed. A lot of people feel very uncomfortable having these hard conversations, but it's these type of conversations that need to be had in order to create change in our world, especially in the United States. If you're unaware of what's going on, you could definitely look on any type of social media, just type in Black Lives Matter and you will see the br police brutality and everything that's going on against African Americans in the United States. I have my own experience with police brutality when it comes to living in the United States and it wasn't in the case of it was for going against me but the people that I hang out who are people of color and since I've married a man of color knowing that he can be stopped and killed just for because of the color of his skin creates such fear in my heart but I know that's why I have to say what I have to say when it comes to this particular movement. I am not ignorant to know that the color of my skin, I have privilege. I mean, there's nothing else I can say about that. There have been plenty of times when I utilized my skin color as privilege and knowing that I don't have to get killed getting pulled over but I've seen my friends of color being pulled over just for walking in a nice neighborhood thank God they didn't get killed or being held at gunpoint because they matched the description of someone who was robbed earlier with probably over 50 cops so when I tell you this 
movement hits home it really does even though i'm personally not affected it doesn't matter to me if people i love that are affected then i'm for the cause when we say black lives matter it does not go against other people but we are addressing the area in our society in our country and in our world of particular race that's being affected only because of the color of their skin so if you are offended by a black lives movement it's not to disregard other race it's just to acknowledge where we are oppressing a certain race and that has to change As a former teacher of the classroom, I used to have to address very uncomfortable conversations because a lot of my students were of minority and black descent. And they have a lot of disadvantages that I had to be very clear about and I kept it very transparent. So I'm bringing the same ethical and values that I did in my classroom on my channel. And this just creates a conversation that needs to be had. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment. You guys know I comment back on every single comment that's on my channel. Do it while we're small and I'm able to get to you right now. Because this conversation needs to continue. Don't stay silent, guys. Continue to thrive. Push for change. Even if you're not a part of the United States, there's ways you guys can help. And that's by having tough conversations. That's by donating to the cause. That's by just understanding what's right versus what's wrong. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different, but hopefully I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.